Week in Review, Pet Startups Will Be the Death of Silicon Valley. Hey everyone. Thank you for welcoming me into you in boxes yet again. I'm in Berlin where TechCrunch just pulled off another great disrupt event. We've got a lot of great Europe-focused startup content on the site so get to scrolling if your interest is piqued. If you're reading this on the TechCrunch site, you can get this in your inbox here, and follow my tweets here. The Big Story Just as Pets.com symbolized the ridiculousness that came to frame the tech industry preceding the dot-com bubble burst at the start of the century, dog walking startup WAG might symbolize that SoftBank's earthquaking investment overexposure may extend far beyond a one-time we work mistake. This week, the Wall Street Journal reported that SoftBank had tossed in the towel on WAG, selling off its massive nearly 50% stake in the startup. The report states that SoftBank sold its stake back to the startup at a valuation far below its previous $650 million value. SoftBank is walking away from its two board seats in the process. WAG will be laying off a significant amount of the remainder of its workforce, according to the report. High-ambition startups stumble all of the time, but SoftBank's moneybag swinging swagger has left a handful of startups with dollar signs in their eyes and the desire to grow at a pace that they never dreamed of. When LA-based WAG closed its $300 million raise from SoftBank at the beginning of 2018, Plenty of people wondered why on earth a dog-walking startup needed that kind of money. Shift forward to the end of 2019, and startups that have relied on connecting contractor labor with phone-wielding consumers haven't proven to be as capable in shifting into profitability with WAG seeming to be yet another example. Needless to say Pets.com and WAG really don't hold much comparison when it comes to the broader impact. Pets.com was well known largely because of its hilarious marketing overextension. Wag's stumblings are far more impactful, especially as they relate to the reputation of its Japanese benefactor which has significantly reshaped the venture capital market in Silicon Valley and around the world. Send me feedback. On Twitter at Lucas and your email. Lucas at TechCrunch.com On to the rest of the week's news. Trends of the week. Here are a few big news items from big companies, with green links to all the sweet, sweet added context. Apple revamps parental controls on iOS. Apple is giving its parental control tools for iOS new functionality. The new update in iOS 13.3 lets parents set limits over who their kids can talk to and text with during certain hours of the day. Away CEO steps down. One of the weirdest sagas of the week was Away CEO Steph Corey's stepping down from her role at the D2C luggage company. The step down followed a long investigation in The Verge which be for more on this story, visit the news article link.